All right, Apple II here, we're back. Uh, some time ago, I looked at a game called Genius Into the Toy Warehouses. It was uh, part of a video game adaptation of a rock opera written by Daniele Liverani. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. But basically, he wrote this rock opera and then made these games based on it. And uh, there's different episodes. So the second episode is out now. And he sent me a link to it, so I'm going to check it out here. This one is uh, Episode 2, Into the Toy Caves. So, basically the the gist of the story, it says here, uh, Genius is the main character, a young and clever drummer who accidentally finds a secret passage to the world of dreams and discovers what's behind the dream creation process. So, uh, in the first first episode you were exploring the toy warehouses uh, this episode refers to another aspect of the story the toy caves secret underground caverns where all the toy fantasies are stored ready to be used for the creation of children's dreams there are many of these toy caves all around this alternative world of dreams and genius will have to run through eight of these in the second game episode so we're gonna go ahead and get into it here uh, I've only played it for a minute so I might be bad but that's okay. We'll we'll get it figured out here. So, it's also got music, which is awesome. We're going to play with the joystick. So you've got a timer up there in the corner that's going down and you need to get a key. When you get a key, the doors change color and that's how you know what you can do or not do. So this is a detonator. And now we collect that and the stage is cleared. There's 80 of these stages. I guess it's a set of levels and they get progressively more difficult. So basically you want to dodge these lasso looking dudes. So the detonator really helps in that respect. So it's pretty cool and I still just enjoy the novelty of an Apple II game that actually has music and the music's pretty good. You know, the keys that you pick up to make the doors change color, so you have to go in sequence. So you just gotta make sure you're dodging the, the enemies. There's a key down there in the water, but you're not supposed to go get it yet. Ah, you got me. Okay, so the waves went away, so now we can come down here and get this.
interesting though. The timer is pretty fair. There's a... Uh... There's a... a padlock that will appear sometimes. And if that appears... I think you have to collect it. I, I forget how it works, but it was in the other episode. It would basically reset all the doors and the keys. So you could get more points, but then you had to also hustle because... Um, you know, the timer's still taken down. It didn't reset the time at all. Alright, so let's go in here and get this guy. So just a fun little game, you know. Nice as a expansion on the concept of the first one. I probably shouldn't touch that. Don't come down here. No. Thank you. Gotta sneak by. You're not supposed to touch that ball up top. So we're going to avoid it for now. So it's getting trickier. Now there's a dragon in the in the water. Or the lava, I guess it could be. Oh no, now he's coming all the way out. Go back down in there, man. So it's nice that it's a a gradual buildup. It doesn't just get crazy right out of the gate, because there's some games that like that give you, you know, two stages and then forget it, you're supposed to just be a master by that point and it's not always the easiest thing to be. Okay dragon. Oh no there's the padlock. Padlock. Oh. Shit. Okay, well. Now we're gonna have to hustle. At least I gotta see it after talking about it. Although, that's one of those things you don't necessarily want to see. skills. How about you go back down, man? Can I 
I sneak by him? Oh. Wow. That was close. So if this is the first round of difficulty, man, I don't even want to imagine, like, all the way to the end, you'd have to be super good. Which I don't, I don't think I will be able to do. But, uh, I'm just glad that this exists. This is a cool project that he's got going there. There's also apparently, uh, Commodore 64 port of episode 1 and 2, both of them. So I'm gonna look at that. There's also Commodore Plus, but I actually don't. I have never emulated that, so I don't know how that works. So I won't be able to do that one. Not right away, at least. Oh, jeez. Go, 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 go. The music got all fast, so I'm gonna panic now. Oh, there's Hourglass. That's more time if I can get it. Sweet. Now I can relax a little bit. I gotta get down there in that water and get that last key. How the hell am I gonna do that? Now you want to go down there. Typical. Uh oh. No. Quit barking. Alright, so we'll probably do this to be the last one. I don't want to give away too much of it. Come out here. Uh oh. Ah. I moved into a apartment and I'm still getting used to the neighbors. One guy's got a dog apparently, which I just found out right now. One guy's got a puppy. I only know that because the puppy squeals all morning after the guy goes to work. But uh, hopefully little events like that will be few and far between when I'm trying to record stuff. Dragon is really giving me the business. Or serpent, or whatever he is, he needs to just stay over there. Oh no. Ah. I just don't want to touch him. Oh geez, I didn't even get the key. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh. That's alright. Whoa. Did I get a big key? There's an item called the big key. You can get the... Oh, don't come down here. Don't come down here. Ah! Oh, okay. 
shortcut. I'll just come this way and get all the stuff. Oh yes, it's time now. You bastards will pay. Oh, you're for sure gonna pay. Just lay there for an hour and then fly into me when I try to go over you. Die. Oh, I didn't kill him. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, so that's uh, episode 2 of Genius. So into the... What was it? Into the toy... Caves? Yeah, into the toy caves. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad that this is a continuing project. Uh, I'll look at the Commodore 64 versions of these two episodes uh, in their own video soon. But uh, that's going to be it for now on this one. But, you know, I'll sign off on it as being okay. I like it. So yeah, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you in another one. Thanks for watching.